Hello everyone, it's me Naiden, and today I am making CopperCube 6 tutorial video. CopperCube 6 is a game engine which is available for free. Link is in the description, you can download it and follow along. Today we will be making an advanced version of the tutorial, so if you do not know the basics of CopperCube 6, please go and watch the basics video or you can download CopperCube 6 and experiment on your own trying to find out what is what and how everything works. Today's topic is less of a tutorial and more of the talk about resources, the plugins, the extensions, and all of that. I know some of you have been commenting on my videos saying, how do you do this? How do you do that? And today I will try and show you all the resources and all the links and documentations you will need to start with your new game. Once again, I am telling this to everyone at the beginning of every tutorial. We have five main windows. We have Scene Graph Explorer, where you can see all our meshes and materials. Cube Mesh, Startup Skybox. We have Properties, where you can see the attributes, which are the name, position, rotation, the materials, which are the textures for the game and behavior, where we add the behaviors, actions, and plugins. We have prefabs. Those are default prefabs, but you can also add your own prefabs. There are textures window, where you can see all the textures used in the game, and the main window, where we work most of the time. Now, let's talk about the Copper Cubes 6 documentation. As you can see, we are on the official ambira.com website where you can see all the information. You can see the Copper Cube 6 engine. You can scroll down and actually download the newer version, which I have, Copper Cube 6.7.1, and you can start working from there. Also, what you can find here are some of the examples of the games. And also, if you scroll up, as you can see, and if you go to products, you can see the Copper Cube free engine. And once again, it shows you the Copper Cube 6 main window. If you go to download, it will show you the download file for Copper Cube. But also, as you can see, there is download Copper Cube extensions and prefabs. Now, let's go to extensions. Now, those are all the extensions which you can download. If you click on right here, you can download all the extensions. And those are the main extensions that I use in my games. Main extensions. You can see each and every one of them. You can see what they do. For example, fade the screen. Fades the whole screen to or from black and executes an action after finished. That's an easy one. Switch to full screen. In the web version or flash target, it switches from the windowed screen to full screen. Set random value, sets a random value into Copper Cube 6 variable. All of this isn't very complex. You can download all of that. You can just once again click right on here on this icon and save those prefabs. Now, before I go any further, I will show you where those prefabs are saved and where is the Copper Cube 6 when you download it. It's program files, which I have, and Ambiera. Right here, you have CopperCube 6.7. If you open this, all the directories are here. You have documentations, you have examples, icons, language, and right here, you have prefabs. All the prefabs and all the pictures right here. Right here. If you go back, you can see the sounds. All the sounds are in here as well. And if you go to textures, all the textures are here. You can add the textures in here and it will show in the textures window. So this is not very complex. So please, once again, let's go back and see where is CopperCube 6.7 stored. Once you install the program, it goes to your program files. Now, if you have uh, multiple disks, it depends on which disk you put the engine in. So I have the C disk, which means that it's on the C one. And it's in the program files, Ambira, CopperCube 6.7, and all of the information, all the information is right here. Now, some of you were also asking, where are all the extensions and plugins stored? 
Niven, I cannot open anything. I cannot find anything. Well, it's very easy. On the PC, which is the main, like, program PC, I have this PC. We go to Documents. And in the Documents, there are multiple fol folders depending on what uh, type of computer you have. And right there, you have Copper Cube folder where there are plugins and extensions. And you can see all the plugins that are right here. Right here, all those, some of them downloaded by default, some of them downloaded from other websites, which I will show you in this video as well. And if you go back, we have extensions and all the extensions, once again, the ones I use, the ones I haven't used are all in here. Now, let's go and see where those extensions and plugins come from. Like I said, if you watch the video closely, some of the extensions and actions and behaviors are available to download and plugins as well those are uh, the default ones and you can also read that how it works everything right here please do read those and there are ones which aren't available here but there are other websites where you can find those out one of those websites is neophyte.cf i will be giving the links in the description all the links uh, this is made by Vazahat, also known as Glitch Velocity, and they have all the assets. They have uh, the professional studio and free version of CopyCube 6, all the licenses. And if you go to assets, you can see there are everything in here. The plugins, behaviors, action shaders, others, everything is in here. You can download any of them, any of them. They're all mostly free. Some of them you can, of course, pay to have like the animated health bar uh, on mouse hover, uh, the FPS meter, the fall damage, which I haven't used in my games, but it's still like very cool. The text animation, which I also haven't used in my games, but you can see all of that. There are also examples of the games available here. There's footsteps, day, night cycle, everything. You just have to go in here, download and have fun with this. Hadouken Records. Hadouken Records have they have uh, the extensions, of course, most of them are priced, they're not free, as you can see, but uh, those are great extensions if you want to make a very advanced game, like have a ray cast, cast hit, have a sequence of animation, have the fog designer, have, uh, you know, uh, the power bars extension, have object, you know, transform to like a special target. All of this is available on Hadouken Records, links will be in the description. Once again, some of those are, well, most of those are paid, but uh, trust me, they're worthwhile. I have uh, two extensions and I use them sometimes in my games, but they're definitely worth the price. Another one which I use most of the time and I'm trying to make something good with it is the page of Sam Grady. Uh, they are an amazing... Uh, artists they really make cool stuff uh, they also have a twitter account if you want to follow them and they have multiple shaders available for free most of them they have the psx shader they have the editor style camera third eye camera which some of the people have been telling me i haven't made a tutorial on that but i'm working on it the camera lean the fps climbing uh the copper cube sprite animator the mirror extension uh, one that I'm trying to use one of my game called the Minimac example. Uh, and they have also the games that they made like Cube Sport and Robolab. And the last one, but not the least, 5v3n. Now, this is the developer on Ichio, once again. They have one of the most unique extensions available, all for free. They have those old extensions of multiplayer source code, survival game project, copper uh, cube door with key uh, they have models you can use in copper cube they have a 3d room editor they have fps camera stand crouch run script they have a copper cube clock behavior the mini map behavior they have the footprint plus step sound behavior they have a copper cube pathfinder plugin for the ai they have the terminal key password which i used in my game called distort and it worked swell. It was so good and it's a very important mechanic which you can utilize in your game and have, you know, a fun experience. Uh, your players can have fun experience with that. They have the tank on terrain. They have 
health bar script, which I also used in one of my games. They have copper cube ladder. They recently made those new ones, the uh, simple farming, the truck trailer script, endless race game, and many other things. You can all check out this. It's very helpful. And well, that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you got the information that you needed with this tutorial. Now, before ending this video, I want to say a big disclaimer. Some of you might watch this and say, well, is this a tutorial? Niven didn't show anything how to make a game. He didn't show anything. Well, I bet most of you did not know where those resources came from, where those websites are, where the plugins are, and how to use them. Now, I make my videos and I make my tutorials, and I want you to realize that there are two things in game development and in learning a you know, language or learning a CopperCube 6 program. Number one is how to use the program. Now, that's, you know, practical stuff. How to import mesh, how to uh, import a camera like that, how to add a point light like this. That's one side of the game, development and learning the engine. The other side is what tools do you need for your game to work? To be honest, you don't need any tools to make a game in CopyCube 6. You can delete this cube, you can add terrain, default terrain, you can add default camera, write this, you can play publish, and that's it. That's basically it. You can have a third person camera like this. Look, publish, play. And that's it. Just walk around the forest. Easy. You don't need anything other than this, right? But if you want to have a great game, if you want to have, you know, an animated guy like this, which is the default prefab, but if you want to have your own prefab, if you want to have your own texture added to this guy, like make this guy, you know, all green and, you know, have it like camouflage in, in the forest. If you want to have all that, First of all, you need to read and you need to find all the resources and realize how to use them. I'm not trying to lecture you, but if you want to make a game, you should start making a game. You should start importing a house, importing, you know, a soldier, right, this, like that, and then having a camera, like this, very simple, and publishing the game. And you can have the game called Soldier in the House, and that's it. And move around. So that's it. Right? Easy. My advice, once again, is, first of all, to learn all those things, and to, of course, know how to develop a game. Thanks everyone for watching, thanks a lot for supporting me, I will be making more tutorials. Uh, people have asked for the third person camera, I will be making that. People have asked for other plugins, how to use them, I'll be also making that. But please don't forget, once again, to read the documentation files, to download all those plugins and to use those plugins, because they're very helpful. And to experiment, like, be more creative, be more uh, brave in terms of just making something, and if it doesn't work, it's okay. The main part of this is that you have to learn and you have to make it go well. And of course, it also takes time. So remember, time is your friend. Yeah, that's that's all. That's all I can say. Once again, thanks everyone for watching and have an amazing day. Goodbye.